Hello everyone and welcome back to the channel. Today I wanted to try something different to my usual stuff, just to see how it goes. I wanted to take a look at Fallout 76. I have never played the game and after seeing some of the mixed reviews, I wanted to check it out for myself. Quick disclaimer, I am only able to play this game because of Xbox Game Pass. After what I read, I wasn't prepared to spend money on a game which so many people have hated for a while. I wanted to review the game myself. I was deliberately not looking into the game, not watching any reviews or playthroughs because I wanted to give my honest opinions from the perspective of a new player in the world. Part 1. Waking up in the vault. After a brief intro to the Fallout series, it puts you straight into the vault with no context as to who you are, why you were there, or when you went in. I didn't know if it was a set in a similar time to Fallout 4, or just a random time. I feel like this was kind of thrown away without consideration. You have this massive long intro as you start the game, but it doesn't really tell you anything. Whereas, when you started Fallout 4, you were introduced to what was like before the nuclear explosion, and it was also gave you something to risk. The sole survivor is either a male retired US Army veteran or a female lawyer, depending on what gender you choose. According to the pre-war records of the lookout at the USS Constitution, Nate served in the 2nd Platoon, 108th Infantry Regiment, while Nora was a lawyer. See, before you've even been introduced to the game properly, you have an idea of who these characters are, why they are being invited, and what's at stake if something goes wrong. And that would be Sean. When everything starts to go wrong, and they must evacuate to the vault, you feel a sense of panic. Am I going to make it in time? What will happen to my home? And etc. And add to the suspense, you even see the bomb in the distance as you are lowered into the vault. This is an exciting and very valuable moment because it sets the scene for what's to come with you eventually leaving the vault to start the game properly. Unfortunately, Fallout 76 doesn't do this. They just throw you in after the blast and just make you make a character who doesn't speak and doesn't seem to have any sort of personality that you could follow. Not to mention the poor and almost empty design your own character screen. It, it just works. Following that awful start, you get little to no instructions and you're expected to know where to go. And on top of all of that, the game doesn't even tell you to pick up things to interact with. So I went back and for the player who don't do that, will lose out on the first supplies to get you started in the world. After talking to one of the many robots, you were told about the overseer leaving and telling you where to find her. And it gives you little to no information, which I would expect to get a little how long was I down here question or a what happened out there. Just to add a bit of context to why the fuck I'm in this empty vault surrounded by robots and five million vault boys. Part two, entering the wasteland. After you leave the vault, you are introduced to a damaged and somewhat beautiful landscape. Which I have to say, for the first impression, it is a really nice view with a lot of detail. What a shame the fucking story doesn't have that many details. After you leave and start to walk down the steps to start to explore the world, you get greeted again by another robot giving you your first quest, which involves going to speak to two people trying to get into the vault to get some treasure. After talking to the pair, they ask you questions about the vault, like I know anything, for fuck's sake. After a brief chat, with incredibly poorly timed interruptions from the second character, New bar down the road. So this guy told us that... After you gave him the last of our caps... <laughs> After a brief chat about what the world is like and how dangerous it is, for your help and giving the small information that you did have, they gave you your first weapon to defend yourself. And you are sent packing, basically. So you're on your own. Good luck. I wouldn't have minded heading off on my own if the character interaction wasn't so fucking awfully done. 
And one of the great things about having a fully dynamic game engine is, all of this just works. Part 3. First PVE. Walking down the stairs towards the massive world you are greeted with your first killable creatures. And half the most unexciting battle to defeat them, leaving you almost unimpressed, hoping for some raiders or something which meant you must think on your feet, but no, just some bugs that shoot lasers at you and make you chase after them as they try and run away. Thanks Bethesda. Part 4. Welcome to the open world. After a poor excuse of an intro to the game, bang, you're on your own. Many different objectives can be active at one time, meaning you could have five active objectives and from what I saw there are no options to toggle them on and off so crowding the screen with words and it's pointless information for a quest you are not following. The main quest as they call it was to go to the wayward pub no more information than that so you can go there get introduced to another character this time with a man holding up a bar at gunpoint to get answers about some sort of treasure that we still don't know anything about and then you get the objective to go and kill that gang for some reason she also mentions the overseer who has left a tape for your pit boy. Unfortunately, the game didn't tell me the tape was in my inventory, so I was wondering endlessly until I decided to check my inventory, and there it was. As I listen to it, it goes on about the camps, which can be made around the world to make storage and crafting easier, but fails to mention that you need parts to make weapons and armour, which means more wandering around trying to get what's needed to make those important things. Luckily, the barmaid gives you basic materials to give you a brief idea as to what is needed to craft items. Don't get me wrong, crafting is a great thing added to the game, makes the world more explorable, equal more hours of play time, and gives you an opportunity to explore abandoned houses and barns full of resources, which can help you understand from little notes and such what used to be around before the blast, giving you a little insight to life when it was normal. I played, in total, around 5-10 to 10 hours in the game, and there seems to be a lot to do, the disadvantage is that the world is online only. Basically means you can't pause it. Which means that if you have to go and do something, you better off leaving the game. Because every time I went AFK, I got attacked by a creature that just happened to find me in the corner somewhere. I wish this was an optional system because as someone who enjoys playing open world casual and exploring at my own pace... Hearing that someone has launched a nuke when I'm just looking for items really gets annoying quickly. If I wanted to be blown up by a nuke, I would go back to playing Black Ops. Part 5. Conclusion When I started playing Fallout 76, I didn't have any expectations after reading the reviews because the amount of hate this game got, I decided to avoid it until I was ready to see what it was like. The story needs improving, and I feel like the devs rushed it. And this whole idea of adding only online play is something which shouldn't be compulsory. I love Fallout 4 because of the taking your time and enjoying the scenery without the worry that if you pause, you will come back and find you have been killed by something you were not ready to see. The game's graphics are beautiful, which you would expect from games trying to compete with the latest game devs from other companies. The conclusion I can give this game is that it is fun, the crafting is a little annoying when you, when you have no clue where to find the resources. The voice acting is mostly passable if you just ignore the opening dialogue with the first two people in the game. Would I buy it? No. I don't think it's worth it in the slightest. Would I still pay it as part of the Game Pass? Maybe. But that's only because that is one of the hundreds of games to download to play when I want to. I just wish there was more to this game. 
Fallout 4 was so much better, it had more information and far more fun to have. The lack of energy in this game is horrible. It hasn't got that wants to play more factor. And the thought of starting again just doesn't sound fun. It didn't impress me. If anything, it disappointed. And I don't want to play it anymore. So with that, I will be uninstalling the game. Thank you so much for watching this video. If you are new to the channel, please consider subscribing. It would mean a lot to me. As this is not my usual content, it would be nice to see if there was any more positive support. If you have any other games that you would like to see me review, please leave them in the comments section down below. And if you would like to subscribe to my Patreon, there is a link in my description. So thank you for your time and patience and have a lovely day.